Hey, what's up guys, it's Darkroom Duels, and today we're gonna be doing a dual avatar deck. So this deck is absolutely crazy, and I really, really actually enjoy this deck. It's probably one of my new favorite decks out of Phantom Rage. This deck is really, really cool in what it tries to do. It can even fusion summon multiple times a turn and get you some really insane plays. It's very simplistic in what it's trying to do, and it's probably one of the most budget decks out of Phantom Rage, which you guys know I leap on top of. I love this deck, and it's really awesome really fun so without further ado guys don't forget to like comment subscribe hit the bell there so you can come bar notification squad and definitely check out the patreon down in the description below so we have some awesome words you guys like getting your description for every single video getting a signed card sent in the mail or even getting to request a deck profile every single month that you are a patron along with test hands so without further ado guys let's get straight on into this so first off we're gonna be playing three copies of dual avatar fist so i have to tell you guys this I actually love calling these dual avatar fists or dual avatar uh, punchies or dual avatar fingies and dual avatar feetsies. <laughs> like, I don't know why, but it's just is so funny to me. I summon dual avatar punchies or dual avatar <laughs> fingies and I summon dual avatar kickies or dual avatar like uh feetsies i don't know why i love that but i think it's just the funniest thing in the whole wide world but anyways you only play two copies or you only play three copies of the only three bane deck monsters in the entire like archetype so far we only have these two which they're really good and then you play a couple of hand traps as well which we'll get into in just a minute but what each one of them do is you can once per turn or excuse me you can target one dual avatar uh you control destroy it and if you do you get to add one dual avatar spell or trap from your deck to your hand and and if a face-up dual avatar fusion monster you control that was fusion summoned using an effect monster as material is destroyed by battle or by card effect, that while this card's in the graveyard, you can add this card back to your hand, which is a really good effect to be able to just add your cards back to your hand. And then the dual avatar feet or uh, <laughs> feeties has the ability that if this card is normal or special summon, you get to add one dual avatar trap from your deck to your hand. And then during your opponent's turn, if a face up dual avatar monster you control, except another copy of dual avatar feet, is destroyed by battle and sent to the or by card effect, you can special summon this card from your hand and then apply the effect to destroy one dual avatar monster you control. And if you could special summon a dual avatar fusion monster from your extra deck, just instantly out of the extra deck, which is really cool. We then play three copies of Ash Blossom for the last three monsters for the entire main deck. You don't play very many monsters in this deck at all. You just play these nine, um, and it's plenty. You you dig through the deck enough that it doesn't really matter that you only play these amount. Like, you would look at this deck and think, oh, there's only two different main deck monsters that's not a lot no it's it's plenty trust me so that's it for the monsters guys let's get into the spells the spells is where the deck really starts shining because you have so many fusion spells we then play two copies of pot of desires because this deck doesn't have a particular combo piece so it's not that big of a deal if you do banish a combo piece like if you banish a copy of feet and banish a copy of fists it's not a big deal you have plenty more in the deck to go through and you also have plenty of cards that search them which is fine we then play a single copy of up start goblin because playing a 39 card deck is pretty nice uh one copy of rhoda because it can search any of the uh dual avatar main deck monsters which is the feet and the uh fist and then we play a single copy of terraforming to search the field spell which is extremely important as well we then play three copies of dual avatar defeating evil uh defeating evil is pretty good because it lets you target one dual avatar monster you control and one card your opponent controls and destroy them so it's essentially a scrap dragon ish effect which is pretty cool but it has some really added good effects then if if you destroyed a dual avatar fusion monster you get to apply one of these effects to either draw an additional card or banish a card from your opponent's graveyard which can be pretty helpful we then play three copies of fusion deployment now this is the card that helps out a lot which basically makes it so you're playing nine uh, dual avatar main deck monsters because you can just reveal a copy of either the dual avatar fist or feet in the extra deck and then be able to special summon the particular one that you particularly need out of the extra deck as well which is super helpful you just basically reveal um this one for right now until we get the other one out of the next set out of blazing vortex you can only reveal this one to be able to special summon dual avatar feet uh fist because the other two fusion monsters these two fusion monsters just say tool dual avatar monsters they don't specifically list those 
those monsters, so you can't just search off of them. But you can search the copy of Fist off of this card. Then we play three copies of Dual Avatar Invitation. Uh, Invitation is probably the best card in the entire deck with a really, really, really insane effect that you get to discard a card, and then if you do, you get to special summon as many Dual Avatar Spirit Tokens as possible. Light level two, zero, zero. Keyword, light level twos. Then it also has the ability that also for the rest of the turn, you cannot special summon monsters in the extra deck except fusion monsters. Totally fine. We're usually probably only going to be summoning fusions anyways. Then it also has the ability that, um, except, and all tokens you control cannot be tributed and are destroyed during the end phase. And after summoning each of these tokens, you can apply the effect twice to fusion summon a dual avatar fusion monster from your extra deck using monsters from your hand or field as fusion materials, which can get you essentially two to three fusion monsters on your side of the field, depending on how you play your cards. We then play three copies of Perfect Sync Aeon. This card is really, really good. I like the field spell. It's pretty neat that when this card resolves, you get to add a dual avatar monster from your deck to your hand. So we essentially have a search here, a search in the Rota, and a search in the Fusion Deployment, which is really nice to be able to get those cards out of your deck so fast. Um, and it also has the ability that if you control a dual avatar effect monster, you can special summon one dual avatar spirit token, light uh, level two, zero, zero. And also you cannot special summon for the rest of the turn from your extra deck except for fusion monsters. And you only use the effect of this card once per turn. And you only activate one of it per turn as well. We then play my own personal tech in the deck, which you could change out for hand traps if you wanted to, like uh, copies of maybe some effect veilers. But I like this in the particular deck. And that is three copies of the law of the normal. So this card is essentially a two card uh, total board wipe blowout you win the game card so what this card does is you can activate this card when there are five face up level two or lower normal monsters on your side of the field both players discard their entire hand and destroy all cards on the field except the light level two tokens so basically what i'm getting at guys is you activate the copy of dual avatar invitation and once you do, it gives you all those tokens. It gives you five level two tokens on your side of the field. Then you activate the law of the normal, which then pops all cards on the field, sends all cards from your opponent's hand to the graveyard, sends all the cards in your hand to the graveyard where you're left with nothing but those five tokens. Now that might be bad because they're only level, they're level two, zero zeros. But guess what? Dual Avatar Invitation says, hey, don't worry about that. You can fusion summon twice. So you use two of those tokens on your side of the field to go into your armored uh, feet and you go into your armored fists and then you essentially have over 4,000 just right at uh, 4,000 damage I believe uh, 200 points uh, 3,800 damage on your side of the field but you still have two really powerful fusion monsters on your side of the field and then you destroy one of the tokens on your side of the field no big deal um, but you still get all those really cool plays so it's a really amazing card if you want to drop it I totally get it but I love this card in this deck I highly recommend against dropping it we then play three copies of supply squad for the last three spells because it's so easy to pop cards in this field or in this deck because both of your main deck monsters pop cards and then your copy of dual avatar defeating evil destroys cards and you have cards in the that are traps that destroy cards as well so you have just cards for cards upon cards that destroy stuff in this deck so it's just so easy to get so many pluses off of supply squad to draw multiple cards out of the deck so that's it for the spells guys let's get into the traps so for the traps we are going to be playing Two copies of Dual Avatar Return. This card is pretty good in the deck because it has the ability that lets you target a dual avatar monster in your graveyard, special summon it. Then if it was an uh, original level four or lower, you could special summon a dual avatar spirit token uh, that's zero, zero to your side of the field as well, which then you can use fusion material to go into another fusion monster. We then play three copies of Dual Avatar Com uh, Compact. Uh, Compact is pretty good too because during your main phase, you can banish a dual avatar spell trap from your graveyard. And then this card's effect becomes that card's effect, which is pretty cool because because it can, you can manage your copy of Invitation, you can manage this, you can manage your copy of the... It basically, it's kind of... It reminds me a lot of the Dark Lords, because you can use this with Dark Lords to be able to kind of get your effects off the same way, except it's in a trap card form. And then for the last three traps, we're playing three copies of Infinite Impermanence, because the three Infinite Impermanence just help out the deck quite a lot to be able to stop your opponent from doing all sorts of stuff while you're trying to go off, um, especially during their turn to drop this. If you get pushed to go second, you can just drop this and immediately stop a card effect. So really good card. So that's it 
For the uh, main deck, guys, let's get into the extra decks. For the extra deck, it's very simplistic in what you're trying to do. Um, you basically have three copies of the dual avatar empowered fists. This card's really good. This guy is the fist guy. Um, and I have to say, I love this deck because every single one of the cards is a part of team hair, uh, long hair, don't care, just like me. Um, and what this card does is basically you put a fist and a copy of two dual avatar monsters. So it takes three monsters to summon this card. And if this card battles, your opponent cannot activate cards or effects until the end of the damage step. And if this card attacks, after the damage calculation, you return one monster your opponent controls uh, back to their hand. So basically, if you destroy a monster by battle or you just attack, you can bounce a card on your opponent's uh, monster back to their hand, which is pretty good because it essentially gets rid of two monsters on their side of the field it also has the ability that when your opponent's spell or trap card is activated this uh while this card's on the field while you control two or more fusion monsters you can quick effect negate the activation um which is pretty good as well but you can only use the effect of it each once per turn we then play three copies of the armored feet armored feet is really good too it it's a little bit less attack points but it's still really good and a really good three of because he has the ability that if dual avatar fusion monster you control would be destroyed by a uh, battle back artifact you can destroy one other dual avatar monster you control instead and then during your main phase if you can a dual avatar fusion monster that was fusion summoned using an effect monster as material you can quick effect you can once per turn target one face up monster um using an effect monster as material you can once per turn target one face up monster special summon from the extract and negate its effects until the end phase of the turn which is pretty good just to give you additional negations we then play three copies of dual avatar fist armored this card is really good too I really like this one as well. Uh, all three of the fusion monsters are just really good in this deck um, because this one has the ability to special summon. You could start one attack position monster opponent controls and destroy it just to instantly pop something. And then also it cannot attack directly for the rest of the turn if you do activate that effect. But with law, the more normal, it doesn't really matter. You just, it doesn't worry about it. Um, you don't pop anything. It just does a 2100 beat stick. And then you can also, you can only use this effect once per turn. And then it has the ability also that while you control a dual avatar fusion monster, uh, using this card as a material, uh, all dual avatar fusion monsters you can draw gain 300 attack, which is also a really, really good effect to be able to just give them an additional uh, attack boost. So for the rest of the extra deck, we're going to be playing a single copy of Access Code Talker. You rarely go into this, so if you want to drop it out, you can drop it out and play a copy of Boral Load or Boral Sword instead. This is a little bit more of a budget build for if you want to go that way, because this deck is extremely budget. I literally paid 12 cents for like the, the ultra rare in this entire deck. I think the most expensive card in the entire main deck is like three three bucks i think i think fusion deployment might be 10 i think that's the most expensive card like you can get the entire core for like 20 bucks so access code talker is a one of it's really good it helps you get additional pops uh unicorn because unicorn can spend stuff phoenix because it can pop spells and traps um cerberus because it can pop monsters exiton knight because it can blow board and then a single copy of abyss dweller because it's probably one of the best um rank fours in the entire game because it can shut down graveyards so that's it for the deck guys i hope you enjoyed it it's a really fun deck to play around with i highly recommend that you guys give it a try i really love playing with this deck um it's really weird like um it's it's really cool like i'm really excited for more support for this because i want to see how far this deck can actually go because it's just fun like it's just really neat and really 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 budget too um which is something that i always love as a duelist and uh, probably you guys do too so anyways guys this is dark Home duels don't forget to like comment subscribe hit the bell on there so you can come bar notification squad and definitely check out the patreon down in the description below because we got those awesome words for you guys and we'll see you guys in the next video see you later guys